friends. So welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Intentional Living or this is Kristen. Um, my channel is called Intentional Living and this is my moving vlog. So you have already kind of seen me start to move. I am currently going through my closet. Um, I am sitting kind of in my room where my office used to be because I packed all of that first because I need to move it first so that I can get back to work once I move. So I've done that. Now I'm going through my closet. I'm doing laundry. I just ate dinner. So the goal for tonight is to go through all my clothes, figure out what I can give away, what I want to try and sell, um, and then pack the things that I need in the next couple days. So today's Wednesday, um, April 13th. So I want to pack things for the Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So five days worth of things. Um, and then I'm going to pack everything else away that I don't need in those days. And if I can get through clothes tonight, I'm in a good spot because then tomorrow I can pack up the kitchen and I can deassemble my bed. And I couldn't do my bed today because um, I have things underneath it, but a lot of it are like bags and suitcases and things. So I need to pack my clothes into those, pull it out into the main like living area and then I can deassemble my bed and sleep my last night on the ground on my mattress um so yeah so the, that's the plan and then Friday I'll wake up go to the gym first thing in the morning and then my boyfriend and I will start moving and I will show you <clears throat> a walkthrough <clears throat> sorry I will show you a walkthrough of the new place before we put things in it and then I will show you kind of an after clip once we move things in there and um I'm just super excited like it's fun to move knowing that you're moving in with like a roommate that is like the person you want to spend your time with um and so I'm really excited to live with him and to have a bigger space and to have an office I literally let me show you I packed all of my office things not even all of it like a good portion of it like I still have my desk and all the things I'm currently working on because I want to cut some more envelopes tonight and some of my packing essentials because I'll need those um on Sunday but everything else I packed and it is so much stuff and to think that that was in this tiny itty bitty bedroom is beyond me like wild like it makes sense that I was stressed on days when I had to work a lot for Etsy because I was in my room I was just stuck in my room so I'm going to show you that clip and then you'll probably see some time lapses of me packing um and I will touch base with y'all tomorrow as I pack the kitchen and other things so you can see my closet all those are empty hangers because this is the pile of clothes and then the things on the ground are things I want to give away or sell so Stay tuned. Literally, this is all stuff for my office that was in my room. Like that is so much stuff and my room is not that big. Um, this is boxes and things, I'm doing laundry, but like it was all in here. I was eating dinner. How did that all fit here? Chaos. Hi friends, I'm the worst vlogger on the planet, but I am, it's Thursday night, 9.20 p.m. I am mostly packed. I have finished the kitchen, which is a huge task. I have mostly finished my closet, mostly finished my office, um, haven't started on the bathroom, haven't started on many decor items, but... I am working on envelopes right now. So I am working on cutting envelopes for the boxes that I need to mail out on Monday. I have a lot more here that I'm trying to cut tonight. Um, I have told myself that I cannot stay up later than 11. So I'm trying to cut the ones that I've already like pre-cut. Um, so most of the marble patterned ones, like I did a preliminary cut and then now I want to um, like thin them down I guess um cut them down more so my goal is to finish this stack tonight and then go to bed and then go to the gym in the morning and then I'll come home and like prep a few more things and then Colin and I are going to start moving so we're going to move his stuff first because he has way less stuff 
and then we'll finish with my stuff and at least try to move the big things and anything that's already boxed up already in my office stuff. And then if I have to come back a different day to finish up, that's fine, but we'll at least get enough over there so we can hopefully get some things set up so we can start living a normal life come Monday. So yeah, I'm excited. Um, we also have a bar crawl planned for Saturday, um, weather permitted. Um, so we have a lot going on, but I will definitely do some clips tomorrow. I'll try to be better at vlogging. I'm going to walk around with like my clamp arm and try and get some like time lapses and things. But if I don't do a lot of us packing and moving, I will definitely do more of us unpacking. I hope. So I'm hoping to be better, but stay tuned to find out if I follow through on that or not. Okay, friends, today's the day we're moving. Um, this is my room. I'm still not done packing, but we're going to move what we can. So this is the kitchen. This goes up to the attic. I need to go grab some things. Um, but yeah, I have lots of things packed. Not everything. But I knew I wasn't going to be able to get everything today because of Etsy orders and things that slowed me down. But yeah, we're going to keep it moving. And I'm going to go up in the attic, grab some more boxes, and keep packing. It's 8.30 in the morning on Friday, April 15th. I think it's the date. Yeah, the 15th. And then Colin's going to come over with his trailer. And we're going to start. Well, I think we might actually do his stuff first, but then he'll come over here and we'll start moving my things. So probably in about an hour, I'll start packing with Colin. So happy moving day. Update, this is where my office used to be. And this is the rest of my room. It is, let's see what time it is. I don't even know. 10 o'clock and I'm heading over to my boyfriend's house who lives right down the street and we're gonna pack his stuff up and then we are gonna start working on mine. So here we go. You here? Hi friends, quick little update. This is round two of taking things to the new place. Um, you should have seen it already. Empty, um, Colin and I did one trip with his car, a trailer, my car. And now we are in route for our second. I'm waiting on Colin in the trailer to back out of my current driveway. And then we're gonna head there, unpack. And I have about an hour and a half before Google Fiber is coming to set up our internet, so. Um, I might have to stay and wait for them to get here and then, um, I'll head back and we need to load in the couch, which is the biggest piece of furniture that we're waiting on. Um, and that is because we have some friends coming around four to help with that. So I'll probably meet Google Fiber and my boyfriend will come back and help move the couch with some friends. Um, and then I'm trying to think. We have a few more miscellaneous things. So after this, we're gonna come home and like pack a few things um, and then do our last, hopefully our last trip. Um, it might be one full trip and then one like mini trip, but we'll see what happens. But really excited. We should have everything moved today. So then tomorrow we can enjoy our bar crawl and then Sunday we can like unpack and get settled and like go to the grocery store and do life things. So that'll be my Easter. Um, but yeah, I hope y'all have enjoyed the vlog so far. It's not been super um, 
there hasn't been a lot of time lapses or anything, but I'm hoping as I set up things that there'll be more time lapses. So you'll see kind of what the unpacking process looks like and what my like interim office is going to look like. And then I'm going to go and buy a bunch of new things and you'll see my updated office. So here comes Colin. So I will talk with you later. Hi friends, it's now 545 and I am on my last run. No, that's a lie. I'm on my third run of four. We thought that we would only need three, but we do need four. So there's that, but we are on the third. And so it's almost six o'clock. So we are probably going to unload this and then maybe pause, do like a pizza beer situation and then do the last trip for the night and we'll be done and can, you know, assemble the bed and put sheets on and things like that to do at least like be able to live in the new place. Um, but yeah, that's the update. I will keep you in the loop. Hi friends. It is 930 and I am officially on my last run, run number four for the night. Um, after dinner, um, I, Went back to my apartment and had to finish packing a few miscellaneous things and so did Colin at his place. So we kind of um, divided and conquered and then got back together and repacked and the cars are full to the brim and we are on our way to the new place and we are literally going to make the bed, take showers and crash. Um, I did buy a bottle of Prosecco to celebrate the move, so maybe we'll crack that open tonight. I don't know. But yeah, there is no way I'm unloading this car tonight, so it is going to sit in the driveway with my stuff in it because I, you couldn't pay me to um, unstuff this car right now. So, yes. So, I'm going to bring in what I need to. So, I have items from the freezer that I need to bring in and, like, technology that I'll bring in, but literally everything else I do not care. I will do it tomorrow. I cannot feel my feet and I have back problems, like low back problems. I have a bulging disc in my low back and sometimes when I over exert myself, I start getting like numb in my um, feet and my like lower body and that is happening right now which means that my body is in a lot of pain and I just can't really feel it. So I need to take some Advil prompt and take a shower and drink some Gatorade and some water and go to bed. So that is the plan for tonight. I probably won't film anything else because honestly we're exhausted. Um, I meant to get a quick little video with Colin today. Maybe I'll do that at the very end of the day. If I remember, we've been in different cars all day and I only think about vlogging once I'm sitting in a car. So yeah, maybe I'll remember tonight when I get home. But if not, you will definitely catch us tomorrow or Sunday as we are unpacking. So stay tuned. Good morning. It is Saturday morning and we have moved most of the things. So this is our living room, lots of things. And we just have a few more small things to pick up at our places. There's Colin. Look at that. Oh, the hi. world. <laughs> so yeah, we're doing the things. Now we just need to unpack. Backyard. So yeah, the plan today is bar crawl. So we're gonna unpack as many things as we can before that. And then tomorrow we will attempt to do as much as we can and then we'll just pick away at it over the next week or so. Hi everybody, it is Sunday, April 17th. Happy Easter, four o'clock in the afternoon and we just finished unpacking our first room, the kitchen. Colin's making a DIY cleaning solution. But this is it, we unpacked. Minus a few miscellaneous things here. But we have one room down. That smells really good actually. Yay, I'm glad. Good job. And then we have to move on to the rest of this chaos. Let me show you. Wish us luck.
friends. It has been officially one week and one day since I've moved out of my apartment. This was my old room and I am in the midst of spackling where I had photos and frames and where I nailed into the wall. And now I'm going to be painting over the things that need to be repainted because I scuffed it or whatnot because I'm trying to get that deposit back so I can cash stuff it. So I'm going to be doing that and I'll film a little bit of it so you can see. I'm officially done with my room and my bathroom. It is patched and cleaned and good to go. So now I just have to finish moving some things to my car and finish patching the walls in here. Cause you can see they're still not dry. Okay, y'all, it is 12.40. I got here around 9.30, so it's been about three hours, and I'm officially out of my room, and I'm waiting on some spackle to dry so I can finish up with the paint, and then I'm gonna be done. I need to take some beer out of the fridge that I is mine that I need to take, but everything else is in my car. And I'm sad because I literally have loved this apartment. It's been probably my favorite apartment I've ever had. Um, had a really great roommate that I'm gonna miss, so it's kind of sad to leave, but I'm excited obviously to live with Colin and to have a house and to have an office. And so it's very bittersweet. Okay, a small update is I have worked on my closet and I just need to hang my purses here and then see what other clothes we need to hang in this closet. Today I'm going to tackle the bathroom. So I'm going to pull out all the boxes of things that we can unload in here, medicine cabinet, under the sink storage, over the sink storage, and under here, and figure out kind of what things we need for the bathroom. So that is going to be what I film next, and you'll see me kind of unpack in that space. I am working on my office today. It's Saturday, April 30th, and this is the office. I just put down painter's tape for the materials that I just purchased. So I purchased two desks, two under desk organizers, and I put down some tape for where a table that I currently have will go. And I'm about to lay down this rug and just like start spacing things out where I want them. So like that will fit in between the two desks that I just bought. My safe will go there under one of the desks and I'm just gonna like put things where they'll eventually be just so I can visualize and see if I need to purchase anything else. So I um, did that. I also went to at home and purchased a bunch of baskets which you'll see me use. I don't know that I'll need all of them but I just purchased them figuring I could return whichever ones I don't need. We did it, Joe. We bought a bed.
Okay, I assembled my desk. I have this desk already assembled, so that's good. I need to hang some things on the wall here. And I, this desk was really easy to assemble and so was that one. These drawer things, not that one, I already had that one. This one down here and one that's way under my desk back there that you can't see um, were not easy to assemble. So I'll still link them down below, but they took forever to assemble. So keep that in mind. But yeah, this is what's happening right now. Chaos. Hi friends, it's been a minute for me. It is now May 18th and it's been a while since I've been unpacking. Things have come in, my office is still a mess, but I also relaunched my Etsy shop. So it's a work in progress, but let me flip you around and show you what I have done so far. So again, a bit of a mess, but we've got things. Things are up, things are happening. I will do a full office walkthrough at some point. It's not ready, obviously, but I really just have the things in the center of the floor to put away and then I'm good. Like I have my stations. I just need to put the things away and I have stuff in my closet that eventually I'll organize. This is literally all recycling. Um, so this is the progress right now. I know I've not been the best vlogger for moving, but things are unpacked and it's happening. We also have some things that we are going to donate that we need to take. Cute. Um, these are nightstands that I'm going to see if Colin will so kindly put together because I'm really sick of assembling things, but let's see if there's a picture of them. You can kind of see it there. They're going to be like, did I say bookshelves? I meant nightstands. I don't know what I said, but they're nightstands, um, for our bedroom. So I'm going to be working on that. This is our hallway. That's a chair I need to find a home for. And then our bedroom is messy very messy but we got our bed all set up and we're still using my old duvet cover that I tossed aside because we are picking a comforter and I ordered a lot this is my second haul I literally had four we sent all of them back except this one but it's linen and I really wanted jersey so I bought all of these to see which one we are gonna get and I wanted to see what it looked like with the black and the white and I'm leaning towards this one or this one or like this one and I do like the color of this I just don't like the linen but the color wise I like that I think this one's too purple and this one's a little too dark for the black but those are our options so when Colin gets home today we are gonna figure that out um, and right now my bedside table is our new duvet cover and a tv tray but soon we will have real bedside tables and this one will go into our guest room so progress is happening and then in our bathroom, I got these toothbrush holders for our toothbrushes because our, our bathroom is very small and there's not a lot of room. And then we got this for a hand towel holder, which I think we're going to mount under here because this is kind of far from the sink. So that's kind of what we're working with here. I still need to kind of do something with storage up here. But what I have done is gotten storage for our linen closet so we've got towels on the door we've got miscellaneous fitness things up there my contacts beach towels replacement items so if you ever be like hmm do we need to buy more check this bin first because before you buy more it's probably in here this is all our travel items so whenever we're going to travel our all our travel toiletries are in there um I'll link these bins on Amazon, but I love them. They stack. So this is my hair bin. So if I ever need to just like do my hair, I can pull out the whole bin. This is bath things. So Epsom salts, bath bombs, shower steamers. And then this is our like shaving face. So this is Colin shaving kit, which needs to go there. But if you ever want to do a face mask or anything, you can pull this one out and kind of see what the options are. Then I've got my makeup right here. This is just some miscellaneous bags. And I had one in here, but I moved it into the bathroom. Um, so I need to figure out what that space is gonna look like. This is nails. Um, so these are nail polishes, a foot scrubber thing, and then some lint rollers. And then this is my body stuff. So shaving things for me, 
lotions, things like that. And then, and then down here we've got supplements and vitamins, sunscreen, icy hot, pain relief, and then medicine for like if you're sick, sick medicine. And then we've got extra toilet paper and cleaning products down here and my jewelry because I need to find a home and then just miscellaneous things that we need to find a home for. But I did buy all these bins on Amazon. I bought these on Amazon as well, but these are my absolute favorite and I got some for my office as well. So I'll definitely link that down below, but that is mostly unpacked, which is nice. We also got this bar from Colin's family and Colin refurbished it. And of course I forgot to take a before picture, but it was like all gray and like, wor like worn and water damaged down here. And he like oiled it up. It looks brand new. That is a real marble top. So it was very heavy. And so this is just our little bar items and we love it. And then this bar card I'm going to sell. We have like plants and things over there, TV, puzzles, games under there. We've got these beautiful windows, my couch, and just boxes upon boxes, more books, bookshelf. And then this is a writing desk that was my grandmother's. And this is our temporary dining room table until we get a real one and all the things, either decor or Christmas seasonal things we need to pack or hang. So this is our little dining room. And then our kitchen is pretty messy right now, but we do have a double oven, only one works, but there is the potential for two. Um, all our kitchen things are away. We have a little espresso machine, um, miscellaneous stuff over there. And then our like drying rack and double sink, which is super nice, our coffee station. And then everything is kind of put up in here. In there is laundry, which nothing super exciting keys and such, all the things I need to return. Then we have a pantry in here and we wanna get some storage for this door because it's not super organized right now. So that would be nice. And that's kind of where we're at right now. So we also have a guest room, which is currently um, Colin's office and um, our guest bed. So that is all the things in here. I also forgot to show you this outdoor patio table that Colin picked up for us on Amazon Marketplace. And then I'm also showing you the before of our outdoor bar. We turned one of our sheds outside into a bar. Up on this piece of wood. I really almost threw this one away, so. You did. When you moved, you weren't even gonna take it. I wasn't gonna take it. And now I can't imagine this bar without it. And the more I sit here with it, more I love that it is oh, that's floating. Okay friends, this is where I'm ending the moving vlog. It is now September 5th and I'm just now editing this. I'm so sorry that it took this long, but there was a lot going on. Um, I will do a full office tour update and link everything down below in that video. I'm not linking products in this video, so I apologize for that, but I will be doing an office tour soon where I will link everything. But I hope you enjoyed seeing my moving from back in April and May and into June as we got settled in the house and let me know if you want to see anything else vlog style down below and I will try to film and edit them faster next time. So thank y'all for watching and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.